Man, ooh is looking nice. Look at all these buildings. Look at all these people. Oh my god. What happened? The people, the buildings. Who could have caused this? Oh boy. Let me tell ya. In the world before the Great Mushroom War, there was the elementals. Like these living things of fire, ice, candy, and slime. Saw a big disaster coming up. Even with their magic not super strong, they knew some bad stuff was on its way. Patient St. Pym, the ice elemental, went ahead and froze herself in the deep ocean, waiting for the world to get hit by the disaster. With everyone getting tense and nations prepping for a fight, the Great Mushroom War started, which was like this really bad conflict with mushroom clouds and humans almost going extinct. The Mushroom Bomb, one of the craziest weapons out there, messed with reality and brought magic back to the world. In all that chaos, the Lich Spirit showed up, like this evil force making everything worse behind the scenes. After everything went down, some survivors held on to life in the wasteland. Among them were Simon Petrikov, who was protected by Evergreen's crown, Marceline Abadir and her mom Elise, who somehow made it, Mosif Mo Mastro Giovanni, the cyborg owner of Mo and Co, and Patient St. Pym, the ice elemental, still froze. Also, some humans led by Hugo got away from Earth on a rocket ship and mixed their DNA with aliens called Greys to become these ageless hybrid things, the Grey Elves. With the Earth changing because of magic in the war, all these weird creatures and beings came into the world, bringing new threats and stuff. Rainicorns hunted humans for food, while the vampire court turned a lot of survivors into mindless minions. Plus, radiation and magic made these scary oozers, zombie-like creatures that roamed the land. During the dark time, Simon Petchkov found little Marceline Abadir, all alone in the ruins of the city. He took care of her, gave her a stuffed toy named Hambo, and taught her how to survive in the harsh world. They got close, like a father and daughter, but as Simon's mind went nuts because of Evergreen's crown, Marceline had to face the tough world by herself. Even with everything so bleak, hope and resilience kept going. Bits of human civilization, like the Super Porp Soda Company in MoCo, were still around, reminding people of the world that used to be. Old stuff like movies, books, and music also lasted, giving survivors some comfort and inspiration. And then, the Blue Catalyst Comet hit Earth, leaving behind an agent of change in the form of a butterfly. This butterfly would come back later as Finn the Human, a new hero in a world that was still healing from the Great Mushroom War. As Earth kept changing, survivors found ways to live and get by in the new world. The Great Mushroom War was always there as a reminder of how low humanity could go, and the courage of strength it took to get back up. But what really happened before the Great Mushroom War started? Are there any clues in the show that can point us in a certain direction? Although Adventure Time doesn't give us all the details about what happened before the Great Mushroom War, there are hints and stuff throughout the show that help us understand the world before everything went wrong. Before the war, the world was kind of like ours, with humans living in advanced societies and technology being a big part of daily life. But the elementals, living things of the four elements, fire, ice, candy, and slime, were also there with the humans. The show suggests that the elementals met sometimes to talk about the world and their visions of a huge disaster. The show also hints at an international crisis happening before the war, as mentioned by Simon Petrikov in his notes about the Enchiridion. This crisis eventually led to the Great Mushroom War, a worldwide conflict involving different nations. But I already know what you're saying. What was the conflict that could have led to this war to begin with? What were they fighting over? Well, it's actually a little more simple than you might think. For land control, something that's actually pretty familiar in our own world. But why do I say this? Why do I say the conflict was over land? And control. Well, it all comes down to one episode, Blananas. Now, in this episode, Finn discovers a note from Jake and spends time reading at Belay magazine while waiting for him. He writes an amusing caption and becomes determined to publish it at Belay headquarters. After consulting with Princess Bubblegum and Ice King, Finn and Ice King teleport to the long abandoned Belay headquarters. They revive the magazine with Ice King's penguins and Finn's caption is published. However, others don't find the caption funny. When Finn returns home, he doubts his sense of humor but finds comfort when Bimo and Nectar laugh at his accidental slapstick comment. But what's important about this episode that reveals the conflict that resulted in the Great Mushroom War? Well, remember when I said long abandoned Blay headquarters? Do you notice why it's abandoned? It's flooded. Now, this is a very surface level theory, but it has a lot of real world similarities. As ocean levels rise, land gets taken under and countries and nations seek out to find new land. And that's where conflict arises. And that's what I believe was the conflict that started the Great Mushroom War. Countries and nations determined to find new land new land after rising seawaters have wiped out their existing land. And then the war ended with the use of nuclear weapons, which created those mushroom clouds and caused tons of destruction and chaos. The mushroom bomb, one of the most powerful weapons used during the war, wasn't just nuclear, but also had this mysterious power that messed with reality itself. This event brought back magic into the world and let the lich wake up and cause more trouble. The episodes Finn the Human and Jake the Dog give us a bit more info about what happened before the Great Mushroom War and what could have happened 
happened if things went differently. In these episodes, Finn wishes that the Lich, which came from the Mushroom Bomb, never even existed. This means that either a country used the Green Catalyst Comet's essence to create the bomb, or it was a regular nuclear weapon that released the evil essence when it exploded. When the wish comes true, Finn goes to an alternate reality called Farm World, where Simon Petrikov sacrificed himself to stop the Mushroom Bomb and froze the whole Earth. In this alternate timeline, without the Mushroom Bomb going off, humanity keeps on living, even though the war still caused some destruction. Farm World Marceline also gives us some clues about the Great Mushroom War in Finn the Human. She thinks that the Mushroom Bomb probably marked the end of the war, saying that the world would have been destroyed if Simon hadn't stopped the bomb with his ice powers. So to sum it up, Adventure Time doesn't give us a clear story of what happened before the Great Mushroom War. Even in an interview with Pop Candy, Pendleton Ward, the creator of the show, said that the post-apocalyptic ooh wasn't part of the original series idea, but it came after the episode Business Time when the writers decided the businessmen being frozen in ice made the world post-apocalyptic, and he said that they just ran with it. So at first, the Great Mushroom War probably didn't really have much backstory at all. It just happened. But I think as the series went on, it seems like the writers gave us enough backstory to piece together a pretty good idea of what caused the Great Mushroom War. That being that there was an international crisis with political tensions leading to a worldwide conflict with powerful weapons. The Mushroom Bomb, which had a mysterious power that brought magic back to the world and let the Lich rise, marked the end of the war and the beginning of the post-apocalyptic world where the series now takes place. However, that's my theory about it. I might have missed a ton of information that totally disproves this, and I've done a video about the Lich itself in the past, but there were obviously a lot of flaws with that video. So please, if I miss something, put it down in the comments. I read every single one and respond to a lot of them. I hope you all like this video. I really can't stress it enough, but thank you all so much for the support recently. I really do appreciate it. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. It helps so much. But as always, stay adventurous.